How to find legal cases using Google Scholar. First, go to Google Scholar. That's scholar.google.com. Select case law and the options for different courts will then appear. Start your search with Vermont courts. So select Vermont courts. Then type in your search term. A drop down menu of fill in options will likely appear as you're typing. Click on the search icon and a list of cases will appear. In the example that I've used of construction contract dispute, 449 cases came up from my search. Toggle the arrow next to the word year in the upper right hand side of your screen and you'll get a few options on how to sort those cases. You can look for the most recent by just saying anytime since 2019. You can sort by date so that the most recent ones are on top going back in time or you can sort by relevance um, and that brings up the cases that are either cited the most or where the major portion of the decision is about the subject matter you're looking for. Click on the case name in the list and the full decision pops up. Little tip if you right click on the case name so that it opens in a new tab, you don't lose that initial list of your results. What it suggests you do is go ahead and what I do is go down that list of results, right click on all of them so that you line them all up in a bunch of tabs and then you can flip through them from tab to tab and see which cases are most on point for what you are researching. Uh, some of them may well just mention your topic in a tiny little piece and not really be about it uh, in case you can skip on to another case. Once you find a case that's right on point for what you're looking for, you can find other cases that cited that one by clicking on the word how cited, which is up in the left hand corner next to the word read. You'll see here that the heading, the case name, uh, in this case, the EBWS LLC versus Britley Corporation, a 2007 case in the Vermont Supreme Court, uh, that title still remains up there. And what I'm looking at is a list of other cases that cited this case. So when the Vermont Supreme Court or other uh, courts look to this case as being precedent. And um, you can, it's just a little list of quotes um, each time that case has been cited. So you can skim down those quotes and see if any of those look like they're also right on point to what you are researching. And if the little quote provided in the list of cited cases looks promising, click on the hyperlinked case name at the end of that quote and you'll go straight to that case decision. Again, if you right click and open it in another tab, uh, you won't lose the original decision that you were looking at and that will speed your research. If you're not finding what you're looking for, go back to that initial case law search screen and try a different search term or try looking at federal cases. Uh, Vermont is of course very small and has very, uh, proportionately small number of case, uh, reported court cases compared to other states or the body of federal law. And so you may find that if you're researching a very particular topic, um, like liability of nail salons for using the wrong color polish, uh, you're not likely to find a case on that subject in Vermont. But if you look federally or you look to other states, uh, who knows, you might. Um, so you could try looking to the federal case list or 
try looking at state courts in nearby states uh, when you go back to that case case law search screen um, for case decisions it says federal courts vermont courts and then it says something like more courts or other courts click on that and you can select other state courts and give that a try